Students at Heber Springs High School have a great reason to quit vaping. Well, the principal decided to toughen up the school's policy and THV 11's Vanessa Page reports. Anyone caught vaping will face legal consequences. The principal at Heber Springs High School says vaping has become a serious issue. That's why there will be serious consequences. Now bringing a vape to school will result in a court date. Vaping is a nationwide epidemic that's unlike anything else we've encountered in public schools. Heber Springs High School principal Mark Griffin says schools everywhere are trying to put a cap on e-cigarettes. Our previous policy stated that uh, the first offense for being caught with vaping paraphernalia on campus would be a warning ticket. Uh, we decided to change that to a regular ticket to ramp up those consequences. That means students caught vaping will get a written citation with a court date attached and have to stand before a juvenile judge. We don't normally do mid-year policy changes, but we felt like this one was important enough uh, you know, for student safety and welfare that we needed to go ahead and make the change. Senior Gentry Hamilton agrees. I would say our high school has about 450 kids, I think. I think out of that 450, about 300 probably have done it before. Hamilton says the seriousness of a court date will make students put down the vapes. I feel like it will make a really big change in this school. I know it's really been a problem here, and I feel like that students will really think twice about vaping. Signs like this are posted right outside of bathroom doors to remind students about the real cost of vaping. You know, they're all huddled up in a corner and sharing the vape, you know like it was when I was a kid in high school and you know everybody had cigarettes in the bathroom. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says nicotine can damage adolescent brains and teacher Ricky Kaiser wants to do what he can to protect them from that. The initial consequence I think maybe can help them avoid some long-term consequences. The school will continue to look into other ways to deter students from vaping. Since vaping often starts young, Heber Springs Middle School has also adopted the same policy.